Okay, I just got a notification. Something should be outside here in the front door. <gasps> yes, it is. Let's get this downstairs. Okay, so let's open this up and show you exactly what I've been waiting so long to actually buy. And the moment of truth here, this is an ASRock RX 7900 XTX Phantom Gaming model. I didn't want to get the Tai Chi because our friend D Miners really wants that and I didn't want to troll him too hard. But this is my first actual flagship card. I've never owned a 2080 Ti or a 3090 Ti or a 4090 or any of the AMD ones. I, well, actually, I guess I had a 5700, 5700 XT once, but I never got a 6900. This is my first true flagship card. So give me a few minutes. Let's get this into the test bench. Okay, let's do a proper unboxing of this card. Oh, I'm going to rip it up. There we go. And yes, I opened it upside down. Turn sideways. I'm on flip over right. There we go. So, yep, little instruction manual. Nice foam. And... Wow, this card's got some weight to it. How much does this card actually weigh? I'm kind of curious. Before I even take off the wrapping, let's see here. Let's switch. Three and a half pounds for this card. This got some heft to it. Now then, how are we opening this? There it is. There we go. Give it the panda flick. Should be RGB here, wrapping around. A little bit of RGB on top here. This one doesn't have the little racing stripes. You can see you got three 8-pin PCIe connectors on there. Then on the back of it, I got to do a peel here at some point. I'm not going to do that yet. But uh, it has this nice graphics on the back of it. X16 slot on the bottom. Actually, wait. Let's do the peel. No going back now. And you can see on this card, this has three display ports and one HDMI. It doesn't come with the USB-C uh, screen connector that you see on the reference models. So let's get this stick boy installed in my test bench. Okay, we got it mounted on the test bench. We can see the RGB, the three fans. We are currently booted into Hive and we have an idle power on the GPU of about 50 watts, 45 to 50 watts, not doing anything. And for people who haven't seen this test bench, I'm getting this number from an Elmore Labs PMD sitting down here. Got all the power from the three A pins plus the riser down below. All of that is being monitored through the Elmore Labs, giving us a true reading of wattage from the GPU. So with that being said, let's switch over to the desktop. So it's actually been over a week since I recorded the first part of this video that you just finished watching. Uh, on the screen behind us is MMPOS operating system. Sort of like HiveOS, uh, completely different manufacturer, all that good stuff. I've never really used it before, and the only reason we are using it today is because they're the only ones who actually have the updated drivers and the kernel. Apparently, for this to work correctly, in a Linux operating system, you need to be running kernel 6.2 with some crazy drivers, and you still get limited control of the 7900 XTX. The full control is just not there. Let me get my face out of the way here, and I'll show you what we got going on behind here. So we can see right now, we're hashing at 705 mega hash. 
44 degrees C on the core itself. Uh, you cannot control the fan speed at all. I tried changing it to 50%. It does nothing. It stays at 15%. Uh, maybe it's on its own. Uh, ASIC is the memory controller. Oh, no, sorry. ASIC and MMPOS is your hotspot temperature. So that's the main core temp. That's your hotspot temperature. Then the memory modules are recorded for 62C. And I don't want them to get above 90C. That's basically what this is set here. And same with the core. Uh, core speed, I have it set, I believe it's like 1400, but it comes up with like 1412. Memory is automatically dropped down to 96 megahertz because we're doing CASPA. And it says it's doing 96 watts. If I go ahead and look up, we are actually doing 105 watts. So it's not too bad considering the only way I'm controlling this right now. If I pull this up, smart memory tune is not going to do anything for me. I could do a core clock lock, but it actually takes about an extra 5 watts instead of doing just a straight up power limit of 100 watts on it. That's the only way I can control this. If I unlock this, I think we go up to like 288 watts at 1.3 giga, uh, giga hash on Caspa. Granted, great, but it's not efficient whatsoever. I've tried to control the fans. It doesn't do anything. Even fixed fan speed, nothing. But let me see here. Let me pull up. Yeah, see, in January 2023, they just added agent support for the 7900 XT and the XTX. Now, up here in uh, April, I'm running on the test version, which is what this is. They added smart memory tune for the compute only on the 7900 series. Added support for, say, the core clock, which I did try. And, yes, yeah, it's not worth it right now. They also added HBM3 memory reporting, which the only thing that has HBM3 right now is an NVIDIA server class GPU, most likely for uh, AI rendering and stuff like that. They also introduced overclocking support for Intel Arc GPUs, added core clock and power limit, uh, added throttling event reports for Intel Arc. Uh, I just got an Intel Arc GPU, which I will be detailing in another video here soon. So MMPOS is just starting to get support and control available for the AMD 7900 XTX series and also the Intel Arcs. I'm going to test this out here soon as well. So I'm not going to go through a bunch of different algorithms with this card because uh, I don't have very good control of it. Caspa is one of the biggest uh, coins right now as of April 18th. I mean, you, everyone knows all the FPGAs and the ASICs are coming out. Might as well get the GPUs going while we can. So that's why we're just checking out this car for the last week. And it's been running rock solid. Running Team Red Miner version 0.10.9. You can see it's running perfectly fine there. Temperatures are barely fluctuating. This is basically only whenever it gets a little warmer here in my basement during the daytime. Um, yeah, see, that's 17.45. So that's what? 5.45 p.m. Everyone's home. There's a little more stuff going in the basement. It warms up a little bit. Otherwise, no problems. The, the card is rock solid. I love it. I hope more support comes to it soon. Uh, so that's it for this video. Please subscribe. Thumbs up, please. And I will be doing the same thing with an Intel Arc GPU real soon.